Assalamu alaikum guys Just when I think that this bloke right here <laughs> I know. Cannot shock me with another blinder He comes and does this He told me when he was watching the interviews over the course of the week, right? He saw that Justin said he would never tap. Justin would never tap. And so when he was going to the submission, he said, it's his dad's favorite submission, right? Wow. Getting to the mounted position, going to the arm bar, going to the triangle. Wow. He said it was his father's favorite submission. So when he got there, he was going to do the arm bar, but he had heard Justin all week saying he would never tap. He didn't want to break his arm. Because if Justin's not going to tap, you have to break it. And he didn't want to do that to him in front of his mom and dad. So he said, if I put him to sleep, he'll wake up and, and everything will be okay. Quite a few people have done videos on this. Definitely check out Ali Dawa's video. And I think Sense Islam has also covered it as well. So when I saw the point of Habib come up, it made me think of another great fighter. That's right, it was Muhammad Ali. I shook up the world! I shook up the world! Somebody was interviewing his greatest opponent, George Foreman, in a documentary called Facing Ali. Have a listen to what he had to say. Probably the best punch of the whole fight was never land. Muhammad Ali, as I was going down, stumbling, trying to hold myself, he saw me stumbling. Ordinarily, you finish a fighter off. I would have. He got ready to throw the right hand and he didn't do it. That's what made him, in my mind, the greatest fighter I ever fought. Now talking of greatness, a quote of the Prophet peace be upon him comes to mind where he said to the nearest meaning, the strongest person is not he who can subdue an opponent, but rather somebody that can control himself when he is angry. When you're in a ring and you've got adrenaline pumping through your body and you're punching the person, your natural response yeah, it's fight or flight, but you've chosen fight. Your body is adjusted to fighting and to go against the natural inbuilt system. Boy, <laughs> that is what the Prophet peace be upon him said is true strength. And if that's not all, we live in a time of capitalism and materialism. Think of the glory, think of the power that you can show to the millions that are watching that will say, oh man, just look at the way he dominated that individual. And Habib is known for the ground and pound. He went straight for submissions. Like there was no normal ground and pound positional type stuff. He, he really liked Justin, so he didn't want to I do had any a feeling, ground and yeah. pound. So Habib not only cares about his own parents, but he cares about the parents of other people. I mean, this is another level stuff. Nowadays, it's not fashionable to be humble. Yeah, you got the Conor McGregor's, the Floyd Mayweather's, the Mike Tyson's. But on the other hand, you have Habib who <laughs> he understands a, a, a fight is a fight. I don't have to humiliate the other opponent. And control and discipline is integral. So integral that Allah has centered certain worships around us attaining this. For example, Ramadan, you have all of these halal things around you, food, your, your wife, your husband or whatever, and you're not allowed. Yeah, from dawn till dusk, you have to have self-control. Even salah, prayer, yeah, five times a day during a prescribed time, you have to take time out and you stand in front of Allah. So I guess what we can learn from this is this important principle that it's taken me years, years to understand this. And I don't know why it wasn't drilled into me. There are certain things in life that you can control and you should control. And there are certain things in life that are out of your control. And freedom comes with absolving yourself of control. I'll give you an example. Getting to the train station, that's in your control, yeah? So you do whatever's in your means, yeah, to get to the train station. Now that you're there, the train's gone. You missed the train. So now how you view that situation is in your control. You standing there miserable for 20 minutes. And that's what we do. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. <laughs> Just give me location. Every day I send Dana White message. Hey, where's my location? Assalamu alaikum. Just send me location.